Alright guys, so I'm gonna start off using my Black Opals Concealer Stick in Tan. I'm applying this to my lid. This will work as a base and also help even out any discoloration around my eyes. I'm using a concealer brush and blending this out into my skin. Remember ladies, you can use whatever you have. Okay, so I'm starting off with my sauce box palette. This is their larger palette. I'm using that rusty reddish color and applying this to my transition area, blending up to the front part of my brows and then blending out into a V shape and kind of smoking out that color with my large blending brush from Royal Care Cosmetics. Now using this limited edition Wet n Wild palette in Muse and Carews, I think that's the name, I'm using this orange color and a small blending brush and applying that right above that reddish rusty color and blending that out. Now I'm going to be using this kind of light taupe color light taupe cream kind of color and it has a very nice shine in it I'm going to use this as my brow bone color and I'm applying that using a shader brush and blending that into my transition color. I'm going to use my large fluffy blending brush, add some more of that rusty color and just blend this out a little bit more because I want the color to really stand out. I'm going to apply some more of that light taupe color, kind of creamish taupe color to right at the beginning part of my lid you could say of my eyelid very close to the lash line and packing that on I want a very high concentration of that color I'm also gonna blend this into my tear duct area now using my forbidden fruit palette from saucebox cosmetics I'm using a crease brush and just patting that into my crease and then I will blend it in this will prevent any fallout onto my lighter color that is closer to my lash line. Now using a NYX glitter liner, this is a gold one, I'm going to pat this on to that lighter color that I applied. And I'm also applying this into my tear duct area. Remember not to get any of this into your eyes, ladies. I'm going back in with that rusty color and a small detailer brush and applying this to the lower lash line underneath the lashes and blending this out all the way to the back part of my eye where the outer V is. Now I'm gonna use some of that orange and just blend this out underneath that rusty red color and just give it a more of a rusty fall look. Now I'm using that purple color and a sponge smudger brush applicator and blending that out underneath my lower lashes. Now I'm going to line my waterline and my upper waterline, I believe it's called a tight line or tight line. I'm going to close my eyes and then line it and then continue lining my waterline. I'm going to go back in and smudge out that purple. Now using my favorite liquid eyeliner in the world, NYC's color liquid liner in black, I'm going to line my eyes and do my cat eye eyeliner. The trick about applying eyeliner ladies not to mess it up make sure you always have enough time to apply it you never want to apply eyeliner in a rush it will not come out good okay I'm applying some demi wispy lashes
I do have a tutorial on lashes ladies check the description box I'm also going to be adding some black opal mascara this is a volumizing mascara and I'm gonna apply some of that to the lower lashes as well all right so that's it for my eye look I am going to finish it off by creating a kind of a um, pointed liner effect on the inner part of my eye just a very small one all right time for the face I'm going to be using this Bordeaux blush by La Femme and applying this to my cheek bringing it up into my hairline I am using a real techniques blush brush to apply this blush If you're wondering about the hair on my head, please check the description box. It is a wig lady. Ladies. <laughs> lady. <laughs> I am using NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one, I believe, is in Stockholm. I will put the name of this in the description box. It's a very pretty, um, kind of pale nude color. And it dries to a matte finish. It's very, very pretty. So I wasn't satisfied with the way that my lips look because it kind of, I don't know, it kind of looked casket ready. So I decided to add some hot fudge lip liner by NYX to the outer parts of my lips and blending that out. See the difference? Alright ladies, so that's your look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.